I'm not seeing any. Mm-hmm. You're not going to see anything because you're not, you're not a visualizer. You're going to remember. Allow yourself to go back to that moment and just relive that moment. Because even though you can't visualize it, you know. And we're going to go into that area of your mind where you just know. Use your guides to take you there. Going to have your guide. It happened so fast. Mm-hmm. We didn't know what was going on. So we're going to put everything into slow motion now. Since it happened so fast, we're going to go as if we're going in a very slow mode. See yourself driving very slowly. See yourself moving very slowly. And as you remember this memory, see it in the slowest motion possible. Because between the different frames in your mind, you will see things that you couldn't see in that fast speed. So let's slow it down and let's find out what was happening. What are you feeling? What are you sensing is there? I feel empty. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Fear and her. She looked at me, mm -hmm. and I was looking at her and trying to drive. I said, what's going on? She's supposed to look around and see if there's something out there. Mm -hmm. She just sat there. <clears throat> so let's slow it down. Slow down that scene. And you can connect with other senses. And let's see if there's any triggers in your mind that were telling you anything at that time. Connect with another part of your mind that was receiving any information, perhaps from your own emotions. What's the first thing that pops into your mind? I can do this. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. I'm very brave. Mm-hmm. I'm more afraid for her than myself. Mm -hmm. I always do that. Get in touch with your emotions, with the sensing of your body, and let's see if there's anything else that you sense. feel like somebody is just got the blue again and looking at me just with their closed eyes. Mm -hmm. This one that is this one that is looking at you, does it seem familiar? No. What kind of an eye is it? It's like my eye, mm -hmm. a human eye. Mm -hmm. Connect with that eye, mind to mind and heart to heart. And let's find out what name or description you're given about that eye. Connect with it. It's floating. Mm-hmm. Connect with the It wants me to float. <laughs> All right, so let's begin to float. Float and let's see what happens. It 
What are you sensing? It's not going anywhere. Mm hmm. Are you floating? What's happening? Nothing. All right. So let's close that scene. And let's now go to another memory that impacted you. It could be any memory. It could be one of childhood, or one from another life, or another place. I'm going to count from five to one. And when I get to number one, we'll be there. It could be any memory at all. Five, going back in time. Four, drifting and floating into a memory. Three, almost there now. Two, and one. Be there now. Is it daytime or nighttime? No. Mm -hmm. It's your memory. Where are you? It's daytime. Daytime. Very good. Are you indoors or outdoors? Outdoors. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? Three. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What's happening? Flowers. Flowers? Rose and rose. Mm -hmm. Rose. Different color roses. Mm -hmm. Oh, tulips. What are you doing in this place? Smelling. Mm -hmm. Just walking up and down. Whose tulips are these? Grandma's. Mm -hmm. So tell me how you're feeling as you're smelling these tulips. I love them. Mm -hmm. See the colors. Way deep. Which ones are your favorite? Mm. Deep red, pink, mm -hmm. yellow. So, I want to crawl in it. Mm -hmm. so I can see way through. It's really bright. So tell me what you can see through these tulips. Mm. What do you see in them? It's what I feel. Mm -hmm. Connect with that. I feel like I'm with them. I wish I could be, like they're all around me. I wish I could be there. Like they're my friends. Mm-hmm. Do you receive anything from the tulips? Connect. Feel it in your body, in your mind. Some love. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? Warm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would love to be them. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to connect with them, feel that love, that wonderful, magnificent love, the unconditional love of those tulips. Have it resonate with every cell of your body, reminding you of what it's like to feel that wonderful love. Soak it in, seal it in, And as you enjoy that sensation, tell me if there's anything else of significance in this memory. What? It's like I 
feel like I belong with the flowers, mm -hmm. I with belong. the grass, with everything. Mm -hmm. Do you feel you're part of nature? Yeah. Mm -hmm. As you're on this nature, do you feel anything in your body from them? It's always kindness. Mm -hmm. So when you're with nature, do you feel that nature is kind? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind and like a... Always... It's like they know you love them. And you're kind. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's, let's step on them. Mm -hmm. Pick them and walk around to enjoy it. They're there to make you happy. Wonderful. So let's close that scene now and let's go to another important scene. Something that has impacted your life. I'm going to count from five to one and go back to that memory. Five. Going back in time now. Four. To a different memory. Three. Almost there now. Two. And one. Be there now. Is it daytime or nighttime there? Late in the evening. Uh huh. Coming down the road. It's a. Uh, up from my house, came back riding my uh -huh. bicycle. You're riding down the road on your bicycle? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's uh, coming back from seeing my other girlfriend. Mm -hmm. It's about seven miles. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Coming down, down a hill and turning, I didn't realize it darker than I thought it would and I'm scared tell me what you're scared of not being able to see where I'm going because mm -hmm. it's very dark there the road is at the uh, a rock rock wall fence you know mm -hmm. it's laid all together you see chipmunks in there all the time but the left side is all trees. Mm -hmm. It's not a wide road. Nobody travels it that much. It goes all the way down. Ah, through. I'm like, oh goodness. Just get me home. Then. See ya. Very as fast as I could. I see. I see that thing in the road. What do you see in the road? I think it's that Sasquatch thing. Mm hmm. Describe him for me. He's a. Uh, it's very tall. I don't know why he has his hands up. He wants me to stop. Mm -hmm. I can't stop. Mm -hmm. He's um, kind of blackish, some brown. Mm -hmm. Can't see him that well, but I don't think he wants to frighten me. But he does. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to connect with him mind to mind and let's find out what's going on. Allow yourself to connect now. What's he saying to you? 
We have we have barns there. Don't use. You have barns. I think. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's two barns. We don't uh, use them for anything anymore. There was a. We had a rabbit in there. I think, I think he was staying in there. Mm hmm So connect with him, mind to mind. I think he mind. felt safe in there. Mm hmm I want you to connect with his mind, just like you do with anyone else. And let's get the thoughts. What is he telling you? Connect your mind and your heart. And you'll hear his, his thoughts in your head as your own. He's scared. Mm -hmm. I wish he could talk. Go deep into the feeling and you'll be able to connect and see why he was scared. Connect to his heart. Trust your first impression. Okay. I don't think he knows. Mm-hmm. He's he just, just wanted to be, to be there. Mm-hmm. But I think he wanted to be friends with me somehow. Mm-hmm. But somebody saw him. I think they were after him. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of, uh, a lot of weird activity there. Mm -hmm. So he wanted to befriend you. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think so. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's close that scene and let's go now to the next scene where you encountered that Sasquatch. I think he was hurt. Mm. I think he was hurt. So connect That's with him. why he yelled. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happened. I don't know what happened to him. I want you to go to the moment where you felt that bullet going through your, by you. Yes. Ding! Just ricochet. Mm-hmm. What happened When next? I looked into the direction, it just went through. Just like the wind, you could feel it go right through my hair. And I was so scared, there was nobody there but me. What happened to that bullet? Where did it go? I don't know. I don't know where it went. I looked for it. it must have gone through the grass. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it hit anything. Use your knowing and let's find out what happened to that Sasquatch. Connect with him now. What's the first impression that you get? See, about that area. Mm -hmm. so, um, something about that area that drew a lot, drew different things there. Mm -hmm. What yeah. kind of things? Um, creatures. Mm -hmm. Like... Uh, Oh, I guess 
Sometimes you didn't see them. They were just there. Mm-hmm. Very strange place. Those little aliens and... I don't know. I don't know. All right. Why, they, they, why it's, they're drawn there. Mm-hmm. Got like a magnet. Mm-hmm. And let's find out why you were there. Let's go back in time and see what things happened to you while you were there. I want you to go back now and find a scene from your life when something very unusual happened. In my life? Mm-hmm. Find out when something unusual happened. nightmares. Mm-hmm. Let's go back to one of those. It's a witch. Mm-hmm. I can see what I was looking in is a cave with a golden light mm-hmm. coming out. Tell me more. And I could see her with a big pot. There's a great big pot in the middle. Fire. And all around Mm -hmm. All around with hooks, different animals on it. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. And a big snake. And uh, they catch me looking in, I guess. And then I'm brought in, and she takes it along a long hook, puts me up on it, like a long. Stick with a hook and puts me up on the wall. And everybody's screaming and yelling. Who's there? It's animals. Mm-hmm. What happens next? I have to keep watching her. Take one off and throwing it in. And another one and throwing it in. And then this big snake. Throws it in. And then she comes to me and she takes me off the hook and hoovers me over the the pot and just as she's gonna let me go, the snake comes up out of the pot and I wake up. Mm-hmm. Every night I have that dream. So let's find out who this witch is. Let's connect with this dream. And let's go through that dream. Let's go visit that dream as a visitor. And let's find out who this is. I don't know. Use your impression. What's the first thing that pops into your mind? Oh. To see her it's black hat, mm-hmm. black car uh, stuff. It's horrible. Use all of your senses to find out where this witch resides. Where is this cave? The woods? Mm-hmm. Let's go to the woods and find out. See yourself going through those woods. And let's find out how you get into that cave at night. I was always walking in the woods. Mm-hmm. I think I was supposed to be there. Mm-hmm. But I always walked in the woods, always found myself in the woods and then waking up and not knowing mm-hmm. how I got there. But this was at night. 
So let's find out what happens. Use your breath and let's take you deeper and deeper. Every breath will take you deeper and deeper into these memories that have been locked away. Every breath will take you to the labyrinth of your subconscious, finding the doors that are locked. And in your hand, you'll have that magic key to unlock these memories that have been sealed for, from you. See yourself going through this labyrinth of doors that are locked and begin unlocking these doors. And as you continue to unlock the doors, I'd like for you to find one of the doors that looks interesting to you. And let's go through that door and tell me what's in that door. Darkness. Mm-hmm. Very bright out. Very bright out. Mm-hmm. Crystalline. <clears throat> building. A crystalline building. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see it from afar. I want to go up to it. But I wouldn't do that. I'm in town. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just keep going. Go ahead. It looks like far away. What does this crystalline building look it's like? It's white. Mm -hmm. It's just so much light that uh, it just shines everywhere. It's not really crystal. It's like a stucco. Mm -hmm. Like a I don't know, sandy, white sand mm -hmm. building. But how it's big? bright. How big is this building? It's big. It's flat. Mm -hmm. It has a big column on each side and a door, like a dark wooden door. Mm -hmm. I think it's wood. How do you open this door? It opens up. It just opens up. Mm -hmm. And they tell me to go in. I don't know who they are. It's just a voice. Let's find I out. I just see the book. There was a, a table on the on the right hand side and a big book. Very, very thick. Mm -hmm. They wanted me to, uh, to open it. What's that book look like? Leather and gold. Mm -hmm. Leather and gold? Yes. Is it a large book? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's about... On each side, I open it. On each side, it's like six inches thick. Mm -hmm. There's a string down it, like a place to hold it. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I can't read it. I'm getting scared now. I don't see anything. So ask, I feel like I'm ask your guides, what's in this book? What's in the book? What's in this book? What am I supposed to know? Oh, I was under a tree. I was under a tree. Mm -hmm. I put my hand on the tree, and I just left to this place. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I don't know where it's at. Why am I here? I want to know why I'm here. Request your guides to present themselves or to give you the information. Guides, can you give me the information, please? They've brought you all the way here. I want to know why I'm here. 
What's in the book? See if you can touch the book and get information. Perhaps you can even become absorbed in the book, entering the book. Hmm. What does your intuition tell you? Some kind of history. Mm hmm. Kind of book. It knows everything. I think it knows. Mm -hmm. You tell it. You ask it. So let's ask the book some questions. Why do you want me here? What do I need to know? Allow that voice to be expressed through you, those thoughts to be expressed through your own body. Um. I think it's wanting me to come home. Mm -hmm. Let's find out where home is. I think home is dark. Mm hmm. I love the light. Sunlight, wherever. Mm hmm. So, why is it sending you into I the dark? Know. I don't know. Mm hmm. I'm scared. Dark. It's lonely. So, let's ask the light to accompany you into that dark. You have that light within you. And even if you're in the dark, that line, light can shine out. Because that light is part of you, part of the Creator. So let's find out why that book wants you in the dark. It doesn't want me to be afraid of the dark. Mm -hmm. So let's go into the dark now and see what's there to learn from. Using that light within you to shine your way through that dark. Let's find out what's there. Allow yourself to be taken. It's a lot of light, little lights. Mm-hmm. How do those little lights feel to you? Sense them. Like you, you get close and they just disappear again. Mm hmm. Let's find out what those little lights are. Connect with them. They won't come close, they just float away. Mm hmm. Let's find out why. I don't know. I'd like for you to focus on yourself and see what you are reflecting back to those little lights. How do you represent yourself in that darkness?
What do you look like to them? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Trust your first impression. Imagine as if you had a spiritual mirror out in that dark. What would you look like? I don't know. Okay, very good. So let's explore. I, mm -hmm. I can't, I just can't bring it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So take another deep breath in and let's go to another memory now. Going back into that labyrinth in your subconscious, going through those doors, unlocking those doors, and go to another door that has more information. And tell me what's on the other side. What do you experience? Not. <sighs> so just breathe deeply and let me connect now with your higher self. Do I have permission to speak with the higher self, the voice within? Yes. Thank you. I know you could have shown Barbara many different things today. She wanted to have some questions answered. We met, we talked about the Sasquatch. Can you give her more insight on what the Sasquatch experience was all about? What was that? Why Barbara? Does she have a connection with them? Connection with everything. Mm hmm She seems to have began begun with the connection with the tulips. Yeah. What's special about Barbara with nature? How does she connect? She loves us. She loves nature. Mm -hmm. She loves everything in nature. Mm -hmm. She's not able to be with it now, too. Mm -hmm. So she had a lot of different experiences. And she wanted to know, first of all, about the Sasquatch, but she also wanted to know about the lost time and the UFOs that she's seen. Would you tell her about that? Has she encountered anybody on those UFOs? I believe so. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason why she has been chosen as someone to be watched? She knows a lot. Mm -hmm. She thinks a lot. She... It likes to figure out people. Mm -hmm. It's very. She's very good. Very. Um, I think she wants to be helpful. Mm -hmm. So those that are connecting with her 
Are they getting any information from her? I don't think she lets them. She doesn't let them? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Well, she says that she, there seems to have been some BB shapes behind each ear. Yes. What are those BB shapes? Are they implants? Uh -huh. So what are they yeah. using those implants for? Uh, they, uh, I don't know, they left her alone for a long time. Uh -huh. She moved and it seems like they don't need her, but she has a calling Mm -hmm. For something now. Not sure. What is that calling now? Oh, Helping she's... people to understand. Mm -hmm. It. I say it seems like people know things. They want everybody to know. Mm -hmm. Do these beings that have abducted her? What have they done to her? I think. I don't know. Would it be beneficial for her to see that memory? Yeah. All right. Would you show her that picture of what happened when she was on one of those ships? Give her the picture. And tell me what's going on. Uh, I can't. Has it been blocked from her? Yes. Mm hmm What was the purpose that it was blocked? She's not supposed to know. Mm hmm Will she eventually know? Will eventually be unblocked? No? Yeah. So what is the... It's, it's not for her to remember. It's not supposed to be for her to remember. Would it bother her? She doesn't like anybody hurting anybody. Mm -hmm. I think they hurt people. They hurt people. Did they hurt her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The dreams that she had with the witch, was this a representation of what they were doing to her? I think they gave her that. They gave her that? Yes. Always start and always end the same way. Mm hmm So whenever they would abduct her, they would give her that memory, that dream? Yes. Mm hmm Were they using yeah. her for experiments? Yes. Mm hmm Have those experiments affected her in any way? Yes. In what way? She... He wanted her... Eggs. They wanted her eggs? Make babies. Mm-hmm. Were they successful? Yeah. Mm-hmm. How many did they succeed in making? Five. Five. Will she ever meet these babies? I don't know. These children? No. Oh. No. No. Is she connected to them in any way spiritually or emotionally? Yes. Like, uh, 
That's why she feels sad about children. Mm -hmm. She saw those children. It's very sad. Has not doesn't want to see them again. Mm. So she was able to see them at one time. Yes. Okay. On the ship. She didn't know like, that it was hers. Really, mm -hmm. just the horribleness of this children thing. Mm -hmm. She uh, several times she woke up and just bled all over. While she was on the ship. No, at home. At home. Yeah. And she didn't understand why? No. What was happening? Why was she bleeding? I think they took it. Mm. So she was actually pregnant and they took the baby from her? Yes. Was she married at this time? Yes. Okay. And they did this five times? Yes. Okay. What would you like to tell her about this? A lot of trauma. Mm -hmm. But you, you're strong. You know. You know you've been through so much so that it's... <laughs> you, you're going the right way now. Mm -hmm. You don't let things bother you anymore. She doesn't let things bother her. No. Not anymore. Now, I've heard of other people who've had the same experience. And I've heard that before the person was born, they had contracts with these beings. Does she have any contracts with them from before she was born? Did she agree to this? I don't think she wanted to, but she did. Mm-hmm. When was the first time that she was taken? How old was she? Very young. Very young? Baby. A baby. Was anybody in her family being abducted also? The father. The father. Did he know? Yes. Did he have anything to do with the program? No. He was young too. Mm-hmm. She tells me that she's always had special abilities. She's always been able to talk to plants, all of nature, make them grow ten times mm. more than others. She also has a photographic memory. Because I have, when I touch things, mm -hmm. I love things. Mm -hmm. I treat them like babies, like children. Mm -hmm. I want them to, to grow strong. Is she from another planet? Because she seems to have a very strong memory. I don't know. It's a planet. Because with someone with a photographic memory, it seems that some of her memory has been locked away, has been shut down. Seems like a Venus. Mm -hmm. She's from Venus? I believe. Mm -hmm. She... Um, it was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Has she had many? Blue, blue, blue. She loves aqua blue. That's, that's, that's there. Is that where it's from? Yes. The aqua blue? Yes. Now we began this session where her being in blue. Is that where she went? Yes. Mm -hmm. What was she looking for? She then? goes there a lot. She does? Yes. Every time. Is she connecting with her family in, in Venus? Yes. Is there They're any? very mild. They're very, very mild people? Yes, very smart. Mm -hmm. 
our ego. Love people. Mm -hmm. Is that why she goes there? Yes. Okay. Is there anybody there from there's Venus? No, there's no hatred. There's no hatred. No. Is there anybody from Venus now that's her family member that needs to connect with her today? Sarah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sarah's from there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How are they related? She was my grandfather's sister. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows her. But I know her. Mm -hmm. And she was from Venus? Yes. Okay. So that's where the connection is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Was she also being abducted? His, fa um, his family lineage. His, uh... No, it seems odd. Mm-hmm. His, um... Grandfather was... My grandfather. Mm hmm He was given away. He wasn't his mother wasn't his mother. Mm -hmm. His real mother. His real mother died in the hospital. And his sister Sarah. So that's where the connection. Yeah. Mm hmm But I don't know why she <laughs> I don't know who I connect with in Venus. I just like it there. Mm-hmm. Would you continue everybody everything is just they are friendly. Uh-huh. There is no, I don't see anything. It's just, you just know. You just know. Yes. You can so. go and just... Uh, so it's like a place know. for her to, to really enjoy just being and... Yes. Very. Just... Mm -hmm. oh. Would you... Just be. Would you continue working with her to find out more about her Venetian roots at night when she's sleeping? Oh, so, yeah. So it's clear for her? Yes. Very good. Thank you. She says that when her mother died, she touched her in her casket, and as she turned away, she was choked and couldn't breathe. What was that? She wanted to think to know how it felt. She wanted to know what it felt. I believe so. I think so. She wanted me to know how it felt. Mm -hmm. To not be able to speak? Breathe. To breathe. Hmm. So it was just for her to reach out and say, here I am and this is what I felt like? I hope so. Mm -hmm. I don't really know. Is there anything still there from that moment? Did she take anything in, or was that momentarily something that she went through? I think she took something in. Mm -hmm. Where is this thing that she took in? Where does it reside? Oh. Check her body. Lungs, I think. Her lungs. All right. Would you allow me to address this one that 
is looking for attention today? Yes. All right. So I'm going to bring my hand up and bring that energy up, 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 up. You can express yourself now. Are you male or female? Male. Male. What can I call you, please? Jerry. Jerry. Jerry, how old are you? Forty. Forty. And what year is it for you? 1936. Jerry, how did you die? Railroad tracks. You you died in the railroad tracks? Mm -hmm. What happened? What were you doing on the railroad tracks? Just playing with friends. Mm hmm You were playing with friends on the railroad tracks? I think track? so. Mm hmm How old were you? Sixteen. Sixteen. So you're not forty, you're sixteen? Yes. Mm hmm So Jerry, what happened? I was drinking. Mm-hmm. And fell. It's funny. And where was it that the train went over you? Like I walked into it. You walked into it. So what I happened? Think, I think it was being dared to do it. Mm. So Jerry, after you left that body, where did you go? What happened to your soul? Did you go to the light? Did you both go back to source? Yeah. And then what happened? Did you stay was, there? Uh, for a while. Mm hmm And then what happened? Mm. Did you take on a different oh. body? Yes. Mm-hmm. Whose body did you take on? Ah, oh, confused. Mm-hmm. Did you take on the body of Barbara? Or did you attach yourself to her? Right. I think I attached myself to mm -hmm. her. Mm-hmm. And what have you been causing her all this time? How does she feel you? Yeah. She wants to wants to smoke, wants to cough. Mm-hmm. Were you a smoker, Jerry? Yes. Mm-hmm. And when you when you allow her to smoke, how does that make you feel? Good. Mm hmm So you're getting your nicotine fix through her? I like the smoke. I like the smoke. You like the smoke. So, is that the only reason that you're with her? Or do you do other things? She seems to... She's around a lot of people. Um... Uh, Oh, um. What kind of people do you like, Jerry? She's she's a good person. Mm -hmm. She has a lot of good friends, but their families mm -hmm. have pro so lots of problems. How do you get involved with that? I like to drink. I mm -hmm. like to see that. Mm -hmm. Do you like to be like around? To smoke. You like to smoke and drink. Yes. Okay, so you like to be around people like that. I do. She hates she she hates it. Mm -hmm. She hates drinking. She won't drink. So Jerry, it seems to me that you like to smoke and drink to make you feel better. Is that true? Does it make you feel good? Um Yeah. Mm hmm. 
I've got a secret. I know something that can make you feel even better than smoking or drinking. Mm -hmm. Are you up for it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jerry, inside of you, there's a little spark of light. Can you see it? Yeah. That light is the light of the Creator. That's the light that created you. Mm -hmm. And you can make that light as big as you are. And I'd like for you to use your mind to expand that light and make it bigger and bigger and bigger mm. until it takes over your whole body. And tell me what that feels like. How does that feel, Jerry? It's like a basketball. Mm -hmm. Make it even brighter. Have it explode out through your entire body. Mm. How does that feel? Free. Mm -hmm. Does it seem now that you need to be hanging around with Open. Barbara? Wouldn't you like more of that expansion? <laughs> Doesn't it seem yeah. now that just hanging out with Barbara would be too limiting for you? Yeah, she's boring. <laughs> yeah. So now that you are of the light, you can go back to the light and create any type of life you want. Would you like some of that? Yes. Very good, Cherry. So I'd like for you to begin pulling your essence out of mm -hmm. her body and sending, instead of all that darkness that she had there, send, you, send your light to her, mm -hmm. filling your light with hers. And I'm going to ask the angels of the white light to come and surround you, Cherry. And they always tell you something. What do they tell you? That. Selfish. Mm. Do you need to be there with Barbara anymore? No. You want to go with them? Uh, yeah. All right. So what would you like to tell Barbara after all this time that you've making her smoke so much? She, she, she liked it. Mm-hmm. Do you feel any... But she wants to let it go. Mm-hmm. Do you feel any remorse keeping her from quitting? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell her that. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Barbara, what would you like to tell Jerry before he goes? Yeah, Jerry, it's okay. All right. So I, I forgive you. Very good. How does that feel, Jerry, to be forgiven? Mm. Good. Good. All right. So, Jerry, I'd like for you to find your way up through the crown of her head, and Archangel Michael is there waiting for you. And he will take you straight up to Source, back home to the Oneness. Hi. And tell me when you get there and if there's anybody to greet you. Yeah. Who's there? Hmm. My brother. A brother. How does it feel like to be James. reunited? Mm -hmm. James. Very good. So, Jerry, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to ask at this time for Archangel Raphael to begin beaming his beautiful light into her chest, mm -hmm. into the area where Jerry was residing, and polluting her lungs with all of that terrible feelings and all that nicotine that she's had in there. Go ahead and fill every cell of those lungs. And now, Barbara, I'd like for you to make yourself tiny, 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 slip yourself in through your mm. nose and your mouth, and let's go to your lungs and tell me what they look like. What's the inside of those lungs look like after smoking so long? Uh, some gray. Some gray uh, matter there? Just, they look gray? Uh, like a... Uh, some mucus eat stuff mm -hmm. in there. All right. So we want to begin eliminating that. What would you like to use to eliminate all of Suck. that? Uh, we can use light. We can use water. We can use a vacuum. Vacuum. All right. So let's take a really big vacuum. It'll you'll be able to hold it up. And let's begin uh, vacuuming all of that gook from inside of your lungs. All right. 
And I want you to focus on the color of your lungs and tell me how they are changing as you're vacuuming out all that stuff. See holes, mm -hmm. oh, um, spongy holes. Mm -hmm. Are they supposed to be there? Yeah. Very good. So let's suction out all of the stuff. It's like that, more compact. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yeah. Tell me when all of it has been suctioned out and it's clear. Yeah. Very good. So now let's use a fire hose of white light and let's shine that white light, that healing light from the universe onto those the layers of the cells on the lungs. I'd like for you to just use that light to begin the healing, like a beautiful healing salve, like an ointment of light, spreading all through those lungs. Mm -hmm. And as you do that, just take a deep breath like in and allow all of that healing to begin. And tell me when you're done. Very good. So now that those lungs are healed, yeah. I want to take Barbara to the first time she ever put a cigarette in her mouth. Feeling healthy, feeling alive. And now that we have our body back into check, I'd like to speak with the higher self again. And tell me, how her body is reacting to this new Barbara. Uh, she loves herself. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to be old. Mm -hmm. And now that she has a new lease on life with a clean body, how do you see that changing her? She's Trying to lose weight. Mm -hmm. She will do it. Wonderful. Wonderful. She also says that she wants to be able to write down more, do more automatic writing after she meditates. What's been keeping her from doing that? Ah, uh, kids. Mm hmm. Confusion around the house. Mm hmm. She will have to find a space. Let's get a space. So can I ask on her behalf for guides that will help her find that perfect timing so that she can write down her thoughts and be able to be able to project all of this that's coming from her inner mind, her yes. inner voice onto yes. paper? Yes. Good. She also does angel Our readings. Seat. Who are her guardian angels? Who are her guides? Michael. Michael. Mm-hmm. Who else? Jared. Jared. Mm-hmm. Who else? Mm. How many does she work with? Give her the name. Sandy. Sandy. Mm-hmm. Mm. How many does she use? A lot. A lot. Those are the main ones? Yes. Who's her guardian angel? The one that protects her. Gabrielle. Gabrielle. So I'd like to thank Michael, Jared, Sandy, and Gabrielle for bringing Barbara to this session. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do they have a message for her at this time about this session? She could do so much. Mm-hmm. She has done a lot. She knows that she has. People never forget her. Mm -hmm. When she meets them, they never forget her. 
they can cry sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now the angels have told Barbara that she can heal people just by being near them. And she knows this is true. She's seen how people change. But she doesn't seem to have any effect on alcoholics. Mm. Why is that? Did Jerry have anything to do with that? Yeah. Yeah. What's happening there? He just was drawing. Ah. Oh. I don't know. I think she can help them. Mm hmm But, uh, Does she have to have more faith? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll help her to know how to now. Very good. Yeah. I think she can do it now. Okay. So as long as She's she She's not here, so... So he, she can now be on her own? Yeah. Okay. Good. Oh, he really... He was affecting her badly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. She, he knew she hates it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just like smoking. Mm-hmm. Well, she says she's always felt that her purpose in life was to help people. Yeah. And her hospital experience shows that. But now that she's retired, she wants to do quantum healings. So yeah. is that what she should be doing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah. Good. So she, she helps goes, people. She helps a lot of people now. Mm-hmm. So she could help more. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very a good. lot of people want her near them. Mm-hmm. Good. Just her energy helps. Oh, yes. Mm, wonderful. How can Barbara continue to heal others? Um, she just has that love in her. Mm-hmm. Um, she just connects immediately. Mm -hmm. Um, and they listen to her. They listen. Oh yes. So she needs to be present with people. She can't be yes. hiding in her home, no. retired and drinking margaritas or <laughs> whatever she envisions. Smoking. Smoking. She's Smoking. not going to be smoking anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. No. No, she's going to be good. She's going to be out there helping. Oh, yeah. She, she is, uh, has a lot of things mm -hmm. that she's going to be doing. Good. good. They're all, all to help. Wonderful. Can we ask for guides to help her with that so that she can go out there and start yes. doing what she came here to do? Wonderful. She that says help. That was good. She says that she seems to wake up from deep sleep several times a night. Mm. Startled? What's going on there? Who's who's getting her to wake up? It's tapping on her. Mm -hmm. Who's tapping on her? Mm. Let's put a spotlight around the room and let's find out who's tapping on her. Who's there? Uh, friendly. It's time to go. All right. So this is a free will planet. And let's remind Barbara that she can have her life her way. Right. And that before she goes to sleep at night, that she sets the intention, puts the protective light around her, and tells them to leave her alone. Can you give her an example of that? Give her that feeling? so that she can feel it. Go. Very good. Just go. Because she doesn't need to keep waking up. No, she needs that sleep, doesn't she? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's getting her very tired. She can't do what she needs to do. Mm -hmm. When she closes her eyes, she sees people. Mm -hmm. Are these the ones that are tapping on her? Messing with her? Yes. Mm -hmm. So who are these people? Are they just random people that are... They want to go home. They do. All right. So they just want to go home. What can we do today to assist those that are in her home or passing by? Can we get the team to help them now to go home? 
Yeah. All right. Let's so I'd, do li- that. I'd like to get my Archangel team together. Raphael, Gabriel, Uriel, Metatron. And let's get the angels the white light. Angels the blue flame and the warrior angels. Let's get the whole team. Also I'd like to call in the ascended masters that work with me and Barbara. And I'd like them to now surround her home and let's begin bringing in that Christ light, that beam of very, very strong light onto her entire home, encapsulating her home in a beautiful white light. Mm. And I'd like the archangels and the angels of the white light, blue flame and Aurier angels to begin gathering up those poor souls that have been wanting to go home. And tell me what's happening. They're getting ready. Mm-hmm. Just a lot of them. Mm-hmm. To ask you, should I go? You go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you go, I'll go. A lot of them. Uh, so I'd like they're, to... They're, they're, they're getting ready. They, they're oh. being told. Very good. Yeah. Let's get the team to start cheerleading them on. Okay. Having them fill themselves with that white light from within because they don't know that they have that power. Remind them that they have the white light. You can do it. You have the power. Mm-hmm. You have the white light to protect you. And have them expand that light from within themselves. Expand your light. Grow. Let it take you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're so running to catch up. Mm -hmm. And have them go around the neighborhood and just expand that light even more. Yes. And more and more. They're excited. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Tell me when they're all gone. They're gone. Yeah. Very good. Thank you so much. Mm. Would you tell me why Barbara fears the ocean so much? So bad. Another life. Another life. Yeah. Would you show her a picture of that life? Remind her old, what that was. An old ship. An old ship. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What happened on that ship? It was... It was damaged. Mm-hmm. A storm. Did she go down with that ship? Yeah. Mm-hmm. She was sliding. Her mother... Tried to hold her. Mm-hmm. Sliding down, down, down. Mm-hmm. So what happened after that? Was it a boy or a girl? Girl. Girl. So what, what happened to her in the ocean? Did she stay there a long time? What happened to her soul? Yeah. She just went on to that red. No. She went to the blue. To where? To blue. To the to blue. blue. To the blue light. Yes. Mm-hmm. So can we disconnect from that life so she doesn't have that fear anymore, knowing that that was something that. It was an experience for her? She kept saying, I tried to hold on, I tried mm-hmm. to hold on. Mm-hmm. And is she doing that in this life? Does she hold, try to hold on to things? Mm-hmm. She, material things don't mean anything to her, but she holds on to memories. Mm-hmm. And that's why she has the photographic memory, doesn't she? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Does she need to hold on to some of these things that bother her? No. All right. So. Let's detach from that life so that doesn't 
give her that fear, and she doesn't need to hold on to the, the memories that made her feel bad. Mm. Can we do that now? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Let it go. Is that why she suffers from constipation? Is she holding on uh, to that too? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. She's, she's not letting it go? <laughs> she, <laughs> she relaxes. Mm-hmm. Uh, she, her, her, she needs a better diet. She's working on it. Okay. More vegetables. More vegetables. Yeah. Very good. Is that why her daughter has the same thing? Yeah. All right. So they need to work on their diet. Does she need to do any exercise? She does. Mm -hmm. She walks a lot. Mm -hmm. But she could better use, do some better exercise. What would you recommend? Uh, strength. Strength exercise. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Can I request a guide that will help her with that? Yeah. Very uh, good. Thank you. Would you do a body scan on her, please? And let's find out what's going on with her body. Uh, hip area. Mm -hmm. What's going on there? Uh, I don't know. It looks like uh, maybe a bone. Uh, something out of place. Something's out of place? Yeah. Let's go in deeper and find out. Let's do some exploration and see what's causing that. Is this natural, or has it been done to her? It feels... feels natural, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we can, can we begin to adjust that today? Yes. Thank you. Anything else in her body? Her eyes. Mm -hmm. What's going on with her eyes? This. Mm. Behind the eyes. Mm -hmm. behind, What's there? Behind the eyes. What's there? Oh. Has something been put there? I believe so, yes. Mm -hmm. Is this an implant uh, again? Uh, behind mm -hmm. each eye. Mm -hmm. What are these implants doing to her? Mm. I don't know, but I don't think. Do they belong there? No. All right. No. Can I request? Good. Can I request the assistance now of the spiritual surgeons to step forward? Yes. And let's begin working on those two implants behind her eyes and the ones on her mm. ears. <sighs> and tell me what they're doing. Uh. I don't think they have any use anymore. Mm hmm Something changed about it. Mm hmm So what, can the spiritual surgeons remove and stitch back that yeah. area? Mm hmm and Tell me when they're, they've done it. Okay. Mm hmm And what about the ones with the BB, the ears? Yeah. Let's go back there and remove those implants and stitch her back. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think they have been trying. I think that has to do with waking her up, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. Are there any other implants in her body? No. Mm hmm. Very good. How does she look now? Is she good? Yeah. 
Very good. Is there anything that I could have asked that I didn't that you would like to tell her at this time? What final message do you have for her? She's, she's just a wonderful person. What is it? She's just a wonderful person. Wonderful person. Mm -hmm. She, everyone likes her. She does so much good for everyone. But she will, and she does. She now she's going to take care of herself more, mm -hmm. which is good. She has to do that. Wonderful. Yeah. And what's the best way for her to contact you directly now? Hmm. I don't know why the name Sonia keeps coming to mind. Let's find out what, who Sonia is. Who is Sonia? Who are you, Sonia? What does Sonia want to say? She's. <laughs> oh, my higher self wants to be Sonia. Mm hmm. Really? Yeah. So could she call you Sonia? Yeah. Very good. Thank you very much. Sonia. So, Sonia, are there any other entities that are affecting Barbara now or that are in this room that are waiting to take Jerry's place? Mm. No. Very good. Thank you. Mm -mm. Very good. Are we complete today? Yeah. Very good. Thank you so much. Yeah. Welcome back. Why do we? How do you feel? Good. So this is very I different. I feel great. Very different, huh? Yeah. Yes. You got all your answers. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> You did wonderful. So, uh, how long do you feel you're on this journey? How did it feel? Hour, hour ten minutes. It's about an hour and fifty minutes. Oh, okay, good. A lot longer. A lot longer. So, uh, now that you think about having a cigarette, how does that feel? <laughs> kind of sick right here. <laughs> Over here. Right. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 You I had think quite that, an influence there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you remember? Everything? Kind of woozy. Woozy? Okay. Well, that's why we do the recording, so that each um, time that you listen to the recording, you'll be able to get the healing once again. Yeah. You'll I'll have to, to listen to it to know. Oh, yeah. Many times. So, <laughs> now that you're there, I'm going to replace these with these so that you can get your I like those. <laughs> You like these, huh? Oh, I like these too. Very good. Yeah, those, do you feel it? Yeah. Rounding you? Yes. Mm -hmm. You feel the energy. And while you're there, let me put this one on your heart. Wow. This is rose quartz to get your heart filled. Hmm. So, you want to keep this private? It doesn't matter. No. Oh. What do you think? Well, let it go. Let, let it, it go. Okay. It could help somebody, maybe. Yeah, it could help somebody. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're old friends already. I know, I know. So, how did it feel? It felt good. Yeah? Yeah. It really did. I was, uh, when I was just out there for a second, I, mm -hmm. it came to me that, um, you know, a lot of stuff that's so old mm -hmm. that we attach to. Yeah. Should never have let it go that long. It should have been gone. So what do you feel that you released in this session? Oh, it's just so tingly all over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was the best thing that I could have done, I think, for myself. Because yeah. I really, it, it gives validity uh, to the things that, a lot of things I already knew. Yeah. That I felt, but I just couldn't put a, I couldn't grasp it. You know what I mean? All that lost time? Lost time. Lost a lot of time. abduction, right? 
Yes. And they don't want you to remember that. I mean, you have a photographic memory. Yeah. And I was trying to get you through that labyrinth of memories, and they, they had you locked, and they, they don't want you remembering that no, at all. they don't want me to. You remember know. everything else except that. Right. They don't want me to know that at mm -hmm. all. Yeah. And, uh, and that's okay, know. right? It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I don't need to know. Yeah. And what about the... Uh, what about the feeling of uh, the smoking part? Oh, boy. <laughs> you made me sick. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, yeah, it's been for years. We wanted to, I mean, I wanted to stop the smoking, and I'll stop, and then I start. And I think it's because um, I get too, I get very emotional. Yeah. Um, and, uh. I, 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 it's a good thing. Yeah, good. You know, it's a good thing, but I wouldn't need to smoke now. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, I'll, I handle it in other ways. Good. So how did it feel to be in hypnosis? I did a totally different thing with you because I knew that you would not be going into a normal hypnotic state with me. Right. Just because of the way you are. Right. So I, how did I it feel? See she doesn't pictures. visualize at all. No, I don't. I don't see the So picture. we went through a different process. Once what was I, what was your ego saying as I was, you know, doing this? Um, <laughs> it, it's funny, but my ego wanted to take me, uh, wanted to say you're not, you're not, you're not seeing that. Mm -hmm. You know, interesting. And I'm like, I, I know I'm not seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> but you went anyway. But I went anyway. So how did so, it feel to be in hypnosis? It um, since you couldn't see, how did it feel for you? Because you were a knowing person. Be, I, mm -hmm. it, it almost felt like I was in a big in a capsule. Mm, interesting. Interesting to me. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it. I, I felt like I was encapsulated in something. Yes. I, is it encapsulated in a knowing? Yeah. Wonderful, yeah, because a lot of, a lot of people come to me and say it was like it was letting it come in. Yeah, they, they they say to me all the time, I can't visualize anything, so I don't think I could be hypnotized. And here is an example where you can't visualize anything, but you just know, you sense. Mm -hmm. So we do different things with you. Yeah, I sense that I was kind of like in a mm. in a in a bubble, <laughs> and that it was. That it, it was coming in. Information was coming in. Right. On, pur yeah. on purpose. Yeah. Wonderful. And once Wonderful. I once I started like, oh, yeah, okay. You know? Yeah. Wow. Then it, then it made sense. Well, today we are in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Mm -hmm. And where are you coming from? I'm coming from Georgia. Georgia. Yep. So how long did it take you to get here? <laughs> <laughs> well, it took me about 17 hours. Wow. Driving. Yeah, I driving. flew. She drove. Yeah, I drove. I like to drive. I feel comfortable driving. Was it worth the drive? Oh, yeah. I've been wanting this for so long. Uh. <laughs> and then when I saw you, Alba, I was like, oh, she's the one. You know how when you, you just connect. You got a knowing. <laughs> yeah, I got a knowing. We connected. Yeah. So what would so you... I was going to come here. What would you recommend to other people who are thinking of doing something like this, either with me or anybody else? What would you recommend? I would recommend it wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. um, e even if you don't have problems, even if you don't think that you need to have anything done, I think this is a good way to start over. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're starting over yeah. as of this moment. So. Yeah. E even if you don't think there's anything wrong, I think that's somewhere like the ego telling you there's yeah. nothing wrong. I think everybody needs to... Um, it needs to be awoken to their special gifts and yeah. things like that. So how do you they feel? Need help. How do you this feel? Helps. How do you feel now about your gifts? Do you feel like you I, are ready. able to use them? You're ready to use them. Yeah. I'm Excellent. Ready. I'm ready. So pretty soon she's going to be a practitioner herself. Yes, I can't wait. And um, so if you want to become a practitioner, you can use my promo code Trinity to get ten percent off of your class. So if you're looking to be a QHHT practitioner. Use the word Trinity when you check out and you get 10% off. So you can yeah, do that. I just saw that. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching. <laughs> and if you want to book a session with me, go to albawyman.com. I do travel, like you see. 
Sign up for my newsletter. She's worth it, y'all. You got to come. <laughs> Sign up for my newsletter, and you will know where I'm going to a city near you. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Big hug, big hug, big hug. Oh, look at the love fest again. <laughs>